today we are going to measure angles. To measure angles we're going to use this tool called a protractor. The first thing you need to know about a protractor is that the end point goes right here in this little spot at the bottom in the middle. On this particular protractor you'll see a little hole with a little cross, a line going up straight and down and a line going horizontal. So we put our end point right there exactly in the middle. The second thing you need to know to use a protractor is that one of our two rays needs to be on zero. So one ray must start on zero. Then we have our second ray and that second ray is going to tell us the measurement of our angle. So you'll see on this line that I halfway drew through, it has 50 and it has a 130. And we need to figure out which of those is our angle. Looking at this angle, we can tell that it's an acute angle. It's less than one-fourth of a turn, less than 90 degrees. So, if it's less than 90 degrees, we know it's going to be 50, just by looking at our choices. But let's measure it from zero. So we start here at the zero. We go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and we're to our second ray. So the measurement of this angle is 50, and it is 50 degrees. So we measure angles by degrees. Here's our second example. Once again, I put my end point there in the middle and one ray on zero. This time, my ray is pointing to the left, so I'm going to use that zero. And then my second ray goes up here. Our numbers on that line are 110 and 70. So, we start here at our zero, which is now on the left this time. We need to work our way up to that number. Since this is an obtuse angle that is larger than 90 degrees, we should be able to tell by looking that it is 110 degrees. But let's count up to it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, these are degrees, 110 degrees. For these next two, I want you to try to find how many degrees these angles are, and then I will show you the answers. So if you need to, go ahead and pause this until you've written how many degrees this angle is, and you can unpause it and I'll show you the answer. Okay, first of all, we can tell by that green angle mark in the corner of our angle that if it's a square, we know it's going to be 90 degrees. So that's kind of a giveaway. But let's measure it from 0 to 90. So this is a 90 degree angle. Here's your second one to do along with me. Go ahead and pause it until you have your answer written down, and we'll check to see how you did. Okay, this is an acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees. So the numbers that my second ray is pointing to is 70 and 110. So now it's going to be 70. So we go from 0 up to 70. So this is a 70 degree angle. Okay. I think you're ready to do four on your own, and we'll check them tomorrow. So here's number one. How many degrees is this angle? Number two. How many degrees is this angle? Number three. And number four. 
bring your notes to class tomorrow, and we'll check you off. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.